Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines with me, CityZilla. And I'm super excited about this. Are you, are you excited about it? We are doing our third City Star, and that means we are going to do our poll this weekend, and we are going to decide which of these three cities we're going to do our next series for. It's kind of funny. We might end up doing two because I actually really enjoyed the first two City Starts, and my goal is to maintain three episodes a week, and so we may end up playing around with all three who knows but um the goal is to choose one other primary season to run next to crater lake um because it just you know it relieves some pressure it allows me to be a little more creative rather than trying to just pump out as many videos as i can let's go ahead and jump right in um this one is going to be an unmodded city as well and so we're going to jump into the mods real quick and i finally created a little secondary steam account so that i could um run an unmodded series and a modded series without having to, uh, you know, un uncheck all the mods and which I think caused our unique buildings to crash on the other on the other account. And so I'm hoping that now we can um, switch back and forth without having any major issues. But we'll kind of see. I've never done this before, but I know a lot of other creators do. And so all I have is visual mods and uh, camera mods. I do have a couple mods that just help the game run faster as well. Like that's why I have Tree Anarchy installed on here we're not going to use it i'm just using it for its uh, tree limit it helps the game to just run a little faster especially as we start detailing and stuff and so um one of the things we are going to do i have um 81 tiles on here as well and we're going to do the same thing as the last one we're going to unlock all of the tiles and the reason for this that's kind of funny we're going to start getting all these achievements since it's a new uh new account which is great i mean we can go achievement hunting again i guess um, so the reason I unlocked them all is because our little gimmick or thrill with this series is I want to do canals. It was something that I really wanted to do with um, Crater Lake. And because of the squares, we couldn't. We were really limited with space. And so um, one cool thing about this map, this is the island map. It's part of the maps content creator map uh, pack. And this is the map that I did that really uh, awesome little airport on. If you guys haven't seen it, it's, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, but I kind of wanted to do a redo of it and then I, I also wanted to um, really build out this map. There's so much space that we can do. Like there's just so many different things that we can do with this map, even in unmodded. Um, I think we will still make this our primary downtown and this a secondary downtown. But I think as we expand, I mean, there's just so much space like these little islands we could do stuff on this one right here. We could do like a theme park or something. I think that would be cool. We could do like a huge nature reserve over here. There's just really so much. And then especially with the canals, we could do like a canal cutting across here and a canal cutting across there. And then we can really focus on ferries, kind of like our island build right now. But this would be just a little different. Um, they are going to be connected by road. And so I'm super excited about it. I think there really is just so much we can do with the city. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. And so the first thing I want to do is actually start back here. The starting square was right there, but I just kind of think it's a little weird that this road stretches all the way up here. And so we are going to go ahead and nix that. And so let's go in here and we're going to create our first little road because we need to unlock everything. So we'll go like that. And we are literally going to delete this guy. We'll probably go all the way down too, just so that we can get the money as well. Because one of the issues that we had with the map that I had just built out really quickly was that this freeway was our main arterial for this whole island. And so a couple lessons we learned from that. Um, is that we can't just have this middle road be the one road that helps you get get by. And so I think what we're going to do is create um, two major arterials off to the sides as well that are going to be set up to where uh, people are going to use them. We'll probably even do um, no zoning on them, like make them actual highways or do like setback zoning where we just do um, like little shopping centers or something like that. I think that's a little bit in the future, but I, I wanted to mention it because um, that was definitely one of the big issues we had here. And it does look like our start off, man, these aren't even, that's going to bother me. All right. Well, we're just going to go like that and pretend like those uh, are perfect. If I had move it mod, I'd just shift that back real quick. Um, and so what I want to do is create a, kind of like a couplet, but a little bit bigger. I want it to have like a little town square in the middle. And so what we're going to do is come right here go like this and then I'm going to come in here and we're going to just delete this guy. This is a really easy method to just do uh, some nice curved roads, especially if you're playing without mods. So we're going to go like that and then we're going to come up here and go like that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Go like this, go like that. Bam. Look at that. Feel like this city is already on its way. And so my goal for this road is to be our main 
one of our main arterials running through here, but it's going to be a, a couplet. And so it's a, a little bit bigger than your standard standard arterial. And it's kind of funny. There's a few cities that actually have this. Um, Phoenix has one. It's not this wide. It's actually probably a little bit closer because the roads are probably uh, like one, one grid across. So maybe they're like, if the couplet were to end like right there, uh, probably even, maybe even farther than that. Cause there's some really big spaces in the middle too. Like they have a park and then the university. So maybe like right there. And that was kind of one of the cities that I got inspiration from this for was uh, just having the two major roads. It's actually really common in a lot of downtowns to have something like this. Um, they're just not always, they're not always uh, one ways, um, but a lot of times they are, it really depends. And so what we're going to do is um, probably make this our industrial area. I'd gotten a suggestion a couple episodes ago. I think it was the first city to start saying that most industries, especially in new cities or older cities, would have had to have been right next to the water. Um, because a lot of industry was powered by water. Um, and so that's definitely something that I want to try to capture here. And then I think this will be our first little residential area. And so let's go ahead and jump into a big road. And we'll go from like right here. And these things are insanely expensive. So we're going to just go like that. And then we are going to come out here. We'll go like four. I think that's good. The reason I put this way out here is because I really want um, the industry to be a little bit farther. I know even in Crater Lake, we had kind of started the industry right here. And I think it's just a little too close to everything. And so I want it to be just a little bit farther. And then um, because of this beach, we're obviously not going to put industry right on it. But I think we're once we start doing canals and everything, we will uh, really be able to start playing around with stuff. And so we'll come down here. Probably go four across. And then uh, I think that's probably good right there. I actually think we... We didn't go far enough. So let's delete this guy. And we are going to come out here and go. I think that was far enough. All right. So for some reason, this is just, it's because of the bigger road. Because we're coming off of a four unit road, we need to go just one more. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. And so I think for our. Uh, for our other guys, we'll go like this and we'll create a nice little space right here. So this is where we're going to put our power plant and then also our water treatment. But I think I'm going to go like this and put our water treatment sideways. Yeah, there we go. I think it just looks a little nicer like that. And so let's uh, go ahead and jump over here. We need to do a water tower. We're probably just going to put this guy like right there. Perfect. And then let's... um draw out our residential grid so we're gonna so we're gonna start like right here and what i want to do is kind of do a little bit of spacing for our first little guy we're gonna do commercial on that front side and i did this in zilla wood too but i think it just is a really nice way to put like some park space or something in there that's just gonna look really good so was that four one two three yeah it was so we're gonna cut, cut across here and we will have this cut across as well and then let's go ahead and do just some small spacing in the middle. We'll probably do two because then it just allows us to do um, some landscaping or something. And it just makes it so that the homes aren't right on top of each other, which is always nice rather than like cookie cutter homes. All right. So I think that's pretty good for a starting layout. Now what we need to do is put down some water pipes real quick and voila. And then we need to do power as well. And there we go. We have uh, generated our first little area and so I want to come in here and we're going to go like that and then we're going to do some commercial off this side I think we'll do both sides of the street too so we'll go like that and then let's come up here and we are going to fill these guys in and then unpause and let's see where our first citizens come from in our weird little unperfect road and here we go we got our first truck I believe it is an ore truck yeah look at that he is going really fast too. He just does not care. He's going to take a left. And there you go. He's literally the only car in the whole city, but yet he's still uh, stopping at these lights. That's that's the right thing to do. You definitely don't see that a lot. I think if um, this were in real life, they would just be blowing past it. Like, yeah, the whole city is mine. But maybe he doesn't know he's the only one. And here we go. We got the line of cars coming in. They're moving in to the promised land. They left everything they had to move to the new city of San Palma. Though I think um, the city officials may end up changing the name at some point. Right now, it's just kind of an experiment. They decided to uh, come out here and 
build out a new city. A developer had left a large town and with a bunch of cash and decided that he wanted to incorporate his own town. So here we go. We got residents. We got a budding neighborhood. And my goal is to come in here and do um, some trees and stuff. That was why I left these spaces. I really wanted to do some backyards, just some areas where maybe kids could kind of run around or, or whatever. So there we go. A little hamlet. Garbage, healthcare, education, taxes, which is all important. And then our first loans. So we are going to pause real quick. We're going to jump in here. Go to 12. And then let's go ahead and start looking at. We need to expand. But we also need to do an elementary school. So I think maybe we'll do a small elementary right there. And then we will do. Um, so I think, you know what? Right here is probably good. It's sideways. So we still would have be able to get that you know what we're gonna waste money we're gonna turn it the other direction yeah there we go and then um that pretty much spent all of our money but we do need to do um our landfill as well and so let's uh figure out a good spot i mean i would hate to put the landfill on the beach i wish this kind of wasn't sand i'm tempted to even take it away but we'll go like that and then let's um put it in here it's kind of tucked in the back it's a little bit better if you put it closer to the road so maybe we'll actually put it like right there or even on this side. Let's actually do that because I think um, having it right there is going to be a mistake. Because these tend to generate a ton of traffic. So we're actually going to put this right there. And then let's make sure that we're still hooked up. And we are not, of course. Let's go like that. Perfect. And then that opens up a little zoning for us to do some more uh, industrial as the demand rises. And so let's go ahead and extend our... Our neighborhood so we're gonna come out here we're gonna go for again we're going to wait until we have a little bit of money apparently should be any minute we're making a little bit of money not a lot but enough there you go perfect and then we are going to just copy this across you know what we're gonna take out that loan we're gonna go for it it's a small one but it's 400 a week which is really pricey but be necessary for us to get this uh, these first couple of areas going so we're gonna go like that and we're gonna go like that and then I think we will create our little elementary right here. So we'll come up here. We're just going to go like this. It's something easy. It's going to look good. We're going to get rid of that. And there you go. And so once we have enough money, we are going to uh, turn that into our residential. So we're going to go like this. And then we are going to go like that. I believe that's enough, but I could be wrong there. And voila, first expansion. Let's go ahead and see how this elementary looks. So I want it to be, yeah, look at that. It's actually perfect. Hmm. And we could have put it to the side and done a little park, but it has a little guy right there because we don't have parks yet. We may shift that over and just imagine that that's how it was built. But I think um, our little city's coming together pretty good. We're probably going to do more. Um, uh, we, we did zone in, so we're going to do commercial on both sides of this. And the goal is to basically do park space in the middle here. I think it's going to be really nice if we do um, just like a really giant park kind of in the middle of the city. It's going to be a great amenity for this area. And so it does look like we need some more industrial. We're going to go like that, fill in that small guy. And then we should hit our next milestone here. Yeah, 500. Nope, 1,000. And this is another builder city. So I think Megaopolis is at like 95 or 90. Oh, no, it's only at 65. Oh, nice. That's actually not too bad. That's um, closer than Crater Lake. I would imagine because there's so much buildable area, but I guess a lot of this is out of the initial nine squares, so maybe they don't count that as it. And there you go. Worthy village. Reach population of 1,000. We got another square, which doesn't matter, but we got districts, which is great policy. Second loan, which I really am going to try to avoid that. Then we got forestry and agriculture, which we really need to get some agriculture going. And then we got emergency services. So let's go ahead and plop down these guys. I think we're going to put it right. We're going to put them all in a little row right there perfect and i think we unlocked the high school too no we didn't and so let's go ahead and identify so it looks like this whole area could be forestry let's see if we have any fertile land you know we actually do right here we do right here as well as well as ore. i think maybe we'll actually do just some homesteads right there and we'll actually turn this into a full-blown agricultural area i think that would just be great all right, so it looks like we are in a position to be able to expand a little bit more now. So let's come in here. We'll delete that guy. We will come up here. I want to see how far this is. So we do one, two, three. Do about three and a half. Let's actually bump that up to four. And let's actually follow this surrounding too. So we're going to 
follow this around. Yeah, hey, there we go. And then we can go like this. Perfect. And then we will go like this as well. Ooh, not enough money. All right, well, we are going to just wait one second. The reason I did that was to follow the tree line. I think it's going to be really nice if we can uh, do that as much as we can. Though it's, I mean, it's just going to be tough at first. But So what we're going to do is we are going to come off this, go to about there. And we're going to follow this down. And the goal is to create a little space over here to do like a commercial center or something. But then we will come up here and do the same things. We'll come down here. Ooh, and it looks like we may even have space over here too. That could actually be good. We could do another commercial center right there as well. And then I do want to do a crossroad too. So we will probably do a crossroad. Let's go ahead and hook this up real quick. So we're going to go like that. And there we go. We've got a nice little, uh, little avenue going across. So I think we will do a road like right here. And then that way we can curve this in. And these intersections are a little close, but because it's a residential area, it wouldn't be the end of the world. And we could even do another one right here, like say it branches off right here. Uh, maybe we'll just do one in the middle. So maybe we'll go like this. Yeah, there we go. And then that way we can even get rid of that. I think that's pretty good. This uh, layout is not bad. It is going to lend us to be able to do a ton with it. And so we're going to come up here and finish this off. I'm going to go ahead and fill these in with water pipes real quick. All right, and so water is in, and then I want to connect this road up because we want to be able to provide access off of that one way that's really going to be super helpful. Let's go ahead and upgrade this as well. So we want these to be um, crossing points for this area, so I think we will actually go like that too, even though these are a little bit closer than I was hoping, but I think it's going to provide that access. Um, the more access that you can provide, the better. And so now let's go ahead and start zoning this in. So we are going to do residential along these ones. We'll go like that, go like that, go like that. We're gonna go ahead and zone in these little guys. I think we may even do residential off those ones, but it's kind of small. So maybe we could just do, um, so I wanna do something nice in here. We'll probably do a little uh, commercial center right there. Let's go ahead and fill these guys in. Ooh, we don't wanna do that. Yeah, there you go. And we don't really want this as well. And you know what? That should be good. I'm tempted to even remove this zoning for right now because we really don't need it across the street. Once we start expanding up over here, then we'll start focusing on that side. And there we go. Tiny town, 1500 park areas. Perfect. We got parks and plazas, which is great. Industry areas and then a ton of policies. I think the only things we're really going to focus on in here is probably the landscaping, doing the parks and then um, doing uh, paths, which is just super important. And so what I want to do is create a little bit of a square over here. And it's kind of tough without um, without mods. So we're just going to see how it turns out. So if we go like right here. It's really close to that intersection. I, I don't know if I like that because I would prefer it if it was just a little bit farther, though. We're not going to really do a lot in here. Yeah, you know what? I think that's actually pretty good. And then we are going to come into here and we're going to go like this. And we did this in the, one of the other city starts just to end vanilla. It's, it's a little bit tougher, but I think it's still going to look pretty good. And the, the idea is to do a, like a little bit of a farmer's market almost. Because then we will come in here and we're going to do zoning just on the inside. And I think for these outside ones, we may do zoning. But for these guys, we're not. We're just going to leave those empty. And then let's go ahead and fill in some paths over here. And I'm going to use the zoo path. I really like the zoo path. I... Because Crater Lake is so focused on concrete paths, though, we don't really use it a whole lot. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and connect this up as well. Go like that. Bada bing, like that. And then we left enough space around the outside to do um, some nice trees and stuff, especially now that we have them. And then I think we'll turn this into a nice schooling area because we have the high school. Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and we're still using dirt roads. I'm going to come in here. We're going to go like this. We're going to turn left and turn right. And I went one too far on that one. So we'll go like right there. And then let's see if we can fit our high school in here. Yeah, we can. Look at that. So we'll go like right there. And then let's see if we can fit a nice park in here. 
I want to do that kind of bigger one. I actually think it's this guy, large playground. Yeah, it is. How much is that? 7,500. So that's actually not bad. We, um, we will be able to get that in just a second. And I think it's going to, it's going to work out really well for this area. And there we go. We got it in. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess having a playground right next to a high school would be kind of weird, but I think it looks good. You know, I just don't want to just plop it down. Schools are normally, um, nicer areas. Let's look at this. We got our little, uh, Little shopping center coming in. What is this guy? Edison Shop. Oh, it looks like a little uh, car dealership. They got a car up there. And then we got a bunch of these little stalls, which is really what I was trying to go for here. Even ones like this. Wholesome foods. But then we got two of these hostels. I think we're going to get rid of one of these guys. All right. Our city is coming together nice. And I like how we did this curve here. That's really what I'm going to try to focus on in this one is to... Break up the design of the grid, really just do some unique designs here. And that's kind of what I did in that other city. I, we're going to end up following this little coastline across. We're going to end up having to um, deforest a lot of this area. But I think if we can follow some of these patterns, it's going to really help to capture more of a realistic vibe in here. And so we will see how it turns out. And so I think now what we can do is come in here and I think we can delete that guy. Is it connected up anywhere else? You know what? We can actually... Yeah, there we go. It should connect up right there. Yeah, it did. Perfect. It's not the ideal connection, but that one's actually a little bit better. And it does look like we already need to do another power plant, which is uh, pretty expensive. Let's actually come in here and we're going to take out the big one. It's a little bit cheaper. And so it's going to allow us a little more room to keep expanding without having to um, constantly take out loans or really worry about it. Because we still got a little bit of zoning. So what we could do is do um, a little cul-de-sac in here. I think that could actually work out. So if we come in here, we're going to go like right there. And let's go ahead and do one right here too. Yeah, there you go. So it allows us to just fill in the zoning. And uh, it's definitely something that you see in cities. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And so um, let's jump into our zoo path now. And I really want to create a nice little space back here. We're going to go like this. We're going to go like that like that and the idea for this is that it would just be like a green belt space an area where people could like walk their dogs or go shopping or something and it just makes it really nice and so we are going to do just a couple crossovers yeah nice and so um we can actually come in here too i don't really know if it would be necessary to hook it up to this road but we can we're gonna just do one and there we go so now it would just basically provide a little bit of landscaping or an area to kind of walk around and it'd be kind of nice. I'm just going to go in here and kind of sp spread around some trees. And there you go. Boom town, 2600. We got airports, transportation, taxis, postal service, which is great. We really need to um, plop down a post office. And you know what? I think that is pretty good. I think um, we may even just come in here and do some light foliage in some of these areas. We'll come like that. Just kind of fill in the space. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of gives it some more texture, makes it feel a little more alive. I think that looks pretty good though. That was definitely what I was going for there. Just a nice little green belt path, something behind the shops to give people a little bit of access, especially from the neighborhoods. It would just be a really nice touch. And so um, it does look like we need to um, do some industry. So I would really like to start doing our agriculture. So I think what we'll do is we will come off here. Let's go ahead and we're going to follow this tree line down. Yeah, there we go. It's definitely much bigger than I was hoping, but my goal is to do um, something more realistic in here. So I think what we'll do is we will come in here and we will paint this all as an industry area. It's a lot of farmland, but so my idea for this is to do some crop fields and then do some uh, little homesteads and stuff. That's why I made it so large. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to do just some off streets. So I think what we'll do is we will try to find a nice even ground. So I think we'll come up here, go like this. We'll probably do the same thing. So go two out. All right. So I went ahead and put in another water treatment facility and then another water tower. I decided to just put the water tower next to the other one. So then we're going to come up here, go like this, and then we are just going to go like that. I think this is a pretty big space, so I, I think this is going to work out. So then we are going to jump into farming, and we are going to go to farming main building, and we're going to need to delete this guy. We're going to come up here. I think, you know what, we'll um, go ahead and put it in the middle. I think that'll be good. And then we need to just make sure that this stays hooked up. Yeah, there we go. And so now um, 
we actually have a pretty good amount of money. I think we could get something something cool going here. So then if we go like this, one, two, three, and let's go ahead and do a little bit of a homestead. So we're going to come in here, go like that, go like that. And then let's do one little house. So we're going to come in here. And I've seen other creators do this too. And I, I think it's because it's so realistic. This is how this is how it would be like you would have one one person who basically owned all these crops. And so and so it does look like I messed up here. So we're going to go like that, go like that. And then let's go ahead and put in our little house again. And then we are going to change these to we're going to change these to corn. So we're going to go up to corn and there we go. And I think we could even fit in one more of these guys. Yeah, we could go like that. And then um, we could put this zoning right there. And then let's go ahead and do some small zoning right there. And then let's go ahead and do some small zoning over here as well. And these are going to be the specialized zoning. So then we will come in here and let's go ahead and paint this as one. And we'll make this all basically like an estate. So we will say like, uh, I don't know. So yeah, so Franklin Estate. And there you go, I think that's fun. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then um, we need to do some water and voila. And there we go. And so now hopefully um, we can satisfy some of that demand. And then let's, we're probably gonna have to play whack-a-mole with these um, with these buildings, but I think it's gonna be okay. So we need to do some silos too. So I think we will do our little silos right there. Yeah, there we go. That's actually not a bad house to have in this area. It's a little bit bigger than I was hoping for, but it's nice. And a lot of times on agricultural states like this, you end up with really nice homes. And so I think this is going to be a good bet. I like these little fields too that got these billboards. I think that's a great touch. And then I'm just going to uh, move these guys around because having these um, silos all like right next to each other is not very great. And let's come in here and we're going to do just a touch of zoning again. And then what I'm hoping is we will get one of these little fields back here. I think that'll be great. We'll just have to wait and see what grows in though. And then we will come up here and we will attach this guy back here. And we'll go like that. And we'll probably even connect this up. So we'll come down here and go like that. And then let's go ahead and do just a little bit more of these. So come in here. And you know what? I think that actually looks really good. I like how this is, it's like a little orchard. I think that looks great. And voila, we have a booming uh, agricultural estate going on here. I think this looks really cool. I like how doing the house in the middle. Not sure how happy they would be, but I think um, what you do too is I can come in here and do a schools out policy. Yeah, there you go. And so these people won't, um, I think they still go to uh, elementary school and stuff, but I don't think they go anywhere else. We need to do a cemetery. I didn't even think about that. So it's coming here. We're going to take that guy out and uh, let's do a cemetery. Can't believe we forgot a cemetery. So I think we'll do a nice little space for a cemetery. I think what we can do is actually do uh, this space right here. Actually, you know what? We could just do two right next to each other. So let's go like right here. I don't know if they'll fit. And you know what? That actually looks pretty good right there. Then that way we can do some trees around and everything too. This is already coming together pretty good. I really like um, like what we got going on here. We even got our little zoning down here. So let's go ahead and do um, nice little stores right there. Can do some stores along this guy, do some right there. I'm gonna leave that empty and come up here. And then we need to do some more residential. I, I don't necessarily want to fill this in. It's actually, we could turn this into a park because the cemeteries are right there. But I think we're gonna do a park down the middle as well. All right, so I decided to put a little flour mill over here um, so we can say it's a part of Franklin Estate, which I think is just great. We put it right next to it. We could do um, a little warehouse as well. I think that could probably be good. Maybe do one of these small guys. Maybe we'll actually do... I think it's not going to work that well if we put it over there. No, we'll do it right here, and then we're going to connect this road up. Yeah, there you go. And we're going to turn this into flour. And then I think we are going to zone in the rest of this area. So we'll come in here, go like that, go like that. And you know what? Franklin Estate is done. So it's pumping out flour. It's got flour storage. And then it's got a ton of crop fields. So it's actually doing really good. I like how this turned out. And so we do need to do another residential expansion. So let's go ahead and move over here. We are going to do some one ways. 
and we're going to extend this guy out. Yeah, there you go. We're going to cut through some of these trees, but I think we're going to be careful of our zoning on the trees. I don't want to just um, go ahead and, and destroy them all. And so we are going to do a, a road around the outside that I think we will eventually upgrade into a two lane or a four lane highway. So we're going to go like this and we're going to come down here and we're going to literally follow the coast. We're not going to go all the way down right now though. And then um, what I'm thinking is we will turn this guy in. So we have a little bit of a shape forming, but then it uh, allows us to now do a little bit of a pattern off of it because I don't want to just go haphazard with this. I still want to try and capture a little bit of a pattern as much as we can. Yeah, there we go. I decided to cut into the trees a little bit more than I was initially anticipating. Um, it's just because like in a city expanding like this, I don't think it would just grow across all the trees. If this land was purchased by somebody, then they would just uh, chop down all the trees and use the proceeds from all the wood to help further the project along even further. Um, unless it was like a forestry business or something like that. And so we'll Go ahead and give this zoning in here too. I think we're actually going to dezone this middle section because I want to still capture that walking path coming down here. And then we will follow this guy across. And then I'm just going to um, fill the rest in here with residential. I think we'll do one little road coming down though because I think this block length is a little too large. It's just going to help contribute to traffic if we don't do anything about it. So we'll go like that. Yeah, I think that's much better. And then that way we can come in here and literally just fill these guys in. So we'll come up here and I think we're going to go four out. Yeah, there you go. You know what? I think that is going to be good. So we'll go like this. And then as these people grow in, they will chop down those trees. And then we've really got a lot of room for parks, man. We really got a lot we can do. So let's go ahead and do our first park. I think what we'll do is um, actually turn these both into parks. So we will come in here. Let's go ahead and paint a park area. And so now what we can do is jump in here and I really don't like doing paid parks. So we're just going to put an entrance in here and then do the rest um, unpaid. Cause so I think it, unless it was for funding some sort of like national park or something like that, I just uh, don't see it as being super realistic. I understand in the game, it's a way for you to make money, which is good, but I just don't think it's the most realistic approach. And so we do need to do a bridge across here. I think we can actually curve this guy in there. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. And there you go. And we'll probably just, because we can't really expand out too much right now, I think we will call that done for the time being. And then we will come in here and let's go ahead and see what we can fit in here. It does look like I forgot to do water for this area. I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. And there we go. We got water in. How's our availability? So we're definitely cutting it close for both our electricity and our water right now. I do want to um, fill this in with a park too. So I think we'll come in here. So I think we'll go like that. And then that way we can actually come in here and we're going to go to our gravel paths. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm just going to use the same trees that are a part of this. Hey, look at that. Level two or level three. Oh, wow. We already um, got it going. So we got lemonade factory, milking parlor, medium crop fields, and medium fruit fields. I think we'll do a separate estate across the street that they focus on fruits and stuff like that. So I'm just going to dot these uh, trees around. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice little park. And then it's got these little plazas with the benches and stuff. And I think it's a really good addition for this area, especially since we haven't really done any parks just yet. We definitely, um, we're going to still turn that into a park and it does look like this area is starting to get a little congested. Um, we're definitely starting to become a little bit bigger of a city, and so it's kind of to be expected. So maybe we could say that Franklin Estate actually evolves this way. Let's actually play around with that, because we're doing pretty good on residential right now, and our commercial demand isn't terrible. You kind of want to keep your commercial demand a little bit higher, but our industrial demand is inching up. And so let's go ahead and pause it. We're going to delete this guy for right now. And let's, um, so Franklin Estate is going to also own this side. And so let's see if we can do some fruit fields. Maybe they're branching off into fruits over here. So I think if we do, we could also do animal pastures. I think that could actually be good. Maybe these are their animal pastures too. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And so it looks like they could even fit in one more processing facility or a warehouse. Maybe a warehouse would be good. So let's actually see how the warehouse looks. So let's jump in here. We could do this guy. No, it's a little too, too big. And of course that road is just right there. I'm going to delete that. 
We're going to put this in there and then let's uh, jump in here and reconnect that up. Yeah, there we go. I knew I could fit it in there. And then I think we will um, do just some small little zoning off this guy. We're going to extend the district since this is all their property still. So we're going to come up over here. We're going to go like that. And you know what? I think that's that's a really big, big estate. Um, I think normally for agricultural states, they are substantially larger than that. But I think for this game, it's probably pretty good. So now we should be able to unpause it. Um, it is going to take a little bit for these to populate. But we got a silo right there, silo right there, and a silo right there. So they should be able to get here pretty quickly. It does look like our water demand is pretty bad though oh you know what we uh oh no it was just because of this i knew it was going to connect that way but i didn't think it was going to uh, disconnect that whole thing yeah there we go everybody's happy again that was a close call and it does look like we're getting some more little fields in phil's field orchard company we got a bunch of these little empty fields coming in that's pretty nice i think normally in the regular game these are supposed to be yellow or something um, but I think they look, they don't look terrible. And so they're just little orchard fields. I think now this is actually a pretty decent size for our, uh, budding agricultural area. I'm going to go ahead and hit improve logistics as it can help with, uh, deliveries and stuff. All right. And so back to our park that we so abruptly got distracted from. So I want to come in here and we are going to, oh, it looks like we already pretty much got everything. We could do another plaza over here though. I think that would just be great. So we'll go like that. And then I think until we get the gazebos, it's probably all we can really do. I mean, it looks good. We got a little bridge going across and then uh, we got a plaza over here with all of our little info booths and everything. And we ended up building in that guy. We have a high school down here though. I think we will need to um, probably do some landscaping and then do another high school at some point. So I think I'm going to come in here and just dot these around. I think that looks pretty good. It's definitely much fuller. And so what I want to do as well is go in here and uh, finish the landscaping frame between these buildings. I think it would just be really important. That's why I wanted to leave these empty. I want to just kind of fill them in and make them into larger backyards, like nice green spaces for these areas. Yeah, there we go. I just filled in the empty spaces with some more trees. It just makes it look a little fuller, more realistic. Um, I do want to fill these in as well. So we'll go like this. It's kind of funny and unmodded you don't have the prop line tool and it's like you don't really realize how much you rely on certain mods until you don't have them anymore like having to place down these trees is kind of a pain it's not bad like you get used to it but uh it definitely kind of takes away some functionality i hope in city skylines too that's one of the things they add in is uh the prop line tool because i think that's just such a great feature and so it does look like we are starting to run out of electricity again when do we get this guy so 4600 just the oil one costs so much more. Um, you get so much more electricity per dollar out of the coal one than you do out of the oil one. The oil one you get more up front, but you end up paying more in the long run because it's 2000 a week for only 120 megawatts. Whereas this is uh, 1500 a week for 120 megawatts. It's not much more, but it still adds up, especially early on in the game. You want to try to make money as quick as possible. So our city's coming together pretty good. And I really like this uh, whole park idea. I'm leaving that empty because I want to, uh, I don't want to just corner us into certain, certain things just yet. I want to leave some areas open for us to really design out some cool areas. So we'll go like this and I'm just going to hook this up with the water real quick. And there we go. So it does look like we need another elementary school as well. Our, our high school is doing pretty good, but our elementary is getting way down here. So I think what we'll do is um, turn this into a nice little elementary space right here. All right, look at that busy town, 4,600. And this doesn't really bring too much that we're going to necessarily use right now. A bunch of policies, um, unique buildings, uh, stuff like that. But it's nice to get the money. Um, having that money is definitely a help. I think what we'll do is pay both of these off so we don't have to, uh, we don't have to pay those anymore. And then um, let's go ahead and do one more more area so let's come up here i'm gonna go like right there and then we will go like right there and then i think what we're gonna do is change the orientation of our zoning so we're gonna come down here we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna come up here and do the same thing and there we go i think we'll use that as another little space i'm not sure exactly what just yet but i think it would be good for us and so before we really expand out i think we will come in here and upgrade this road and then we need to do that elementary. So I think for the elementary, we're going to do something similar to what we had, but I think we'll do the small playground. So we will come in here and 
Maybe we'll even bring that guy back and then let's come up here. Go like that, go like that. And then let's come in here, go like that, go like that. And then let's go into this guy. Go like that. And I think we could even fit the large playground in here. The one that we used for our uh, high school. Yeah, look at that. I think that is great. So now it's like our school would have a nice little area. So then we'll go ahead and do that. And there's already a bunch of trees in here. So I don't think we need to really focus too much on that. It is on a bit of a hill, but it came out looking pretty good. So I'm not too worried about it. And so let's go ahead and look at our crop fields. So we're making pretty good money now. It looks like, yeah, they're, they're moving along. We're making about seven, 8,000 a week, which is great. It looks like we are still importing quite a bit. Looks like we are running out of water again. Let's go ahead and we're going to just place this guy right there. Go like that. And then we need another sewage treatment. I can't even believe it. This is just getting crazy. And we're going to go like this. And I'm sure the environmentalists are going to be pretty upset about this because we're getting pretty close to that water now and there we go and perfect man i actually really like the look of the city i like how much opportunity we have here so we'll probably uh, do a big park down the middle and then i want to do our first canal coming across which we could actually do right now let's um let's actually look at that and see what it looks like all right so i think that actually looks pretty good um i went ahead and leveled out a little space right next to it so that we could do uh, some ferries or even like waterfront shopping and stuff like that and it leaves us a little bit of room to even go above it. And I think there's just a lot we can do with this. I think this is super cool. Is it the most realistic of approaches? I'm not really sure, but um, I think it looks cool. And that's really what we're trying to go for here. Yeah, there we go. That actually looks pretty good. And then I think we will um, copy it on this side too. Yeah, that actually looks uh, pretty good. And so now that affords us the opportunity to do um, some really nice areas down here. And it kind of looks like it's actually... A little bit more flooding down here than I was thinking, but but there we go. We have our first canal in here. I think we'll come back here and uh, kind of level out some of these too, because these just look pretty bad. Um, I decided to add in another landfill as well. I did a landfill, another one, and then a, a recycling center. Kind of made a mistake. You normally want to do at least one recycling center to give your city a little bit of a buffer, because now we're having some some pretty heavy trash issues. So I think we are going to empty that guy. And what I'm hoping is this, uh, the new trash truck should be able to sweep through the whole city. I don't know how long it'll take, but hopefully pretty quick. And so well, let's go ahead and zone these guys in. So we're going to go like this. And then we are going to go down here as well. So let's go like this, go like that. Come here, go like that. And I think we'll do a little cul-de-sac off of this guy. Yeah, there we go. Just give us some more zoning, kind of fill in the space a little bit. And then I just need to hook up water. And voila, we got some more uh, residential zoning, which is great. I actually really like this uh, this road layout. It's unique. I was trying to go for something that had curves, something that just looked a little bit better. So then the idea for uh, these little areas down here is to do um, some waterfront areas. It does look like we may need to mess around with the heights a little bit because the water's kind of over overflowing from the canal a little bit. But I think that's to be expected. We just had a bunch of water flood in here. But I really like how we did this area. We're already making great money. I mean, we got $214,000, which is just crazy at this level for us to have that amount of money. And so um, we'll definitely be doing a little park down the middle. And then we're going to be expanding our canals as well. So we'll probably do a canal, another canal going this way. And then I think we will start doing canals going up too. Because I feel like that's a really awesome opportunity for us to have it come down here. And then do uh, almost like a little river area. Um, kind of like how I've done the water features and my airport builds and stuff like that just allows you to do some like little shops and stuff like that, like riverfront. Um, and it really helps to kind of capture a nice little vibe. And so I think that's it for this episode. I, I really enjoyed our build out here. I think we definitely left ourselves a lot of opportunities. If this city is chosen, I like that we did Franklin estate. I like that we did, we kind of broke up the road layouts a little bit. Um, and so thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed please consider doing so it really helps out the the channel a lot i really appreciate it and if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button um likes also help the channel out a lot and if you'd like to check out the other two episodes go ahead and click on the playlist on your screen with my other two city starts and thank you so much for watching i will catch you on the next episode